So here we go, Dylan versus JJ. The run back. JJ starting hitting him hard, baiting out the what, what up till trade. I don't even know if that was intentional. I know he wanted to punish the lack of attack, um, but a full on trade uh, against a double hit wake up is crazy. Oh, that dash attack though. That gets Falcon on the road. The all, only thing Falcon really needs is just throw Fox in the ground once. Fox on the ground, like I know when I play Falcon, I just get so much more confidence. Like finally, you know, Fox to the position where I have you know, an absolute advantage. No matter where he goes, I can follow and I can just keep keep throwing him on the ground until he's at a position where I can now get straight hits and edge guard him or, or just straight up kill him. Oh, no text. But JJ's able to close and bring it back. He had an explosive start, but you know, just wasn't able to. Get the first blood. Wake up. Ooh. No oh, nice long there to beat the uh, Raptor Boost. Raptor Boost is usually really strong against people who like to space super accurately. So when you space as tight as you can, um, Flat Boost can be used against you because it has a little bit of a dip back. And then the box is really good at, uh, at catching the lingering boxes of aerials. And so that's why Raptor Boost is kind of thrown out at one time. So uh, when they think they're, they're going to space against you, uh, potentially shielding, they use, use 4B instead. Um, otherwise, uh, you'll sometimes see them used in uh, tech chases, where like they'll jump one way, land, fast fall, and 4B to follow after you. Um, even though they can technically just dash and grab you, uh, 4B does pop up uh, for more optimal combos at that mid percent. But basically, the, nothing really changed with that stock. Uh, same percentage uh, deficit that JJ had, uh, which is 14%, you know, not much at all. And uh, JJ has uh, tempo advantage right now with uh, getting him cornered. Dylan went, uh, ran out of stage for a little bit, but uh, going to that side platform actually seemed to throw JJ off. Oh, JJ wanted to avoid getting hit with a combo extender and just DI'd down and away on the knee um, instead of trying to DI the... Uh, 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 do you have any optimally? Uh, I guess they're just trying to avoid the uh, combo. Anti combo DI. It lets a death DI. Or just die. Well, no punish on the dash attack, which was probably an input error. Ooh, pop up. Knee. knee. Oh, shield grabs the hard knee. Even had a little bit of fade back, but not enough. And here's on the ground. Gets an easy tech chase. There's the 4B I told you about. And that should be should be it. And TSC Fox shouldn't be able to make that. And so game one. Going to Dylan. And we're going to take him right to Yoshi's. Yoshi's uh, generally being a good stage to pick against Falcon. Because uh, there's less room, less room for the run. Um, Fox, Fox's uh, vertical KO power is improved. And... Foxes generally expect to die uh, early from edge guards and knees anyway, so they're not as worried um, about the uh, early KO power. It's more about the uh, potential potential control. Um, easier to force Falcon off stage with uh, each hit. But you know, Falcon Falcon gets gets his calls. You know, he still also KOs early, and uh, if he's able to put pressure on Fox then Yoshi doesn't really matter. Uh, if you take away his room to run, it's take, he takes away your room to run if he's able to actually pressure him. But the general idea is that Fox is able to um, consistently put pressure on, on Falcon um, with his uh, comparable mobility, faster faster aerials, and um, shine covers, and uh, strong shield pressure. Ooh. A little high on the 4B and get smacked for it. And we're basically even again. Ooh, stomp, no techs. Oh, wake up, ends up getting him. Oh, but he just goes off for the cheese on the shine instead of uh, trying to force him to ledge. I think forcing Falcon to ledge is the best way to go because ledge invincibility is a lot, is really difficult for people to do in general, just like it is for, you know, for Fox Sheik. A lot of room for them to mess up and kill themselves. And also, uh, Falcon doesn't get as much. Um, mileage 
from uh, doing uh, Legend Invincible stuff. Like, he gets grabbed, and that's it. He doesn't have enough time to do, like, a Legend Invincible knee. Oh, another one. Wow, it looks like that one was low too, but uh, the, maybe the, the dip was enough to let the back air hit below the stage a little bit more than uh, JJ might want. And JJ's in a lot of trouble. He's cornered. He's on the ground. Oh, J Dylan goes for the long knee, and I think it puts him in a lot of trouble. Oh, no, the up air. The uh, up, uh, up throw, I thought, was a mistake. I think he should have fourth throw. But he ended up getting a pseudo conversion. Um, with uh, Dylan jumping into the up air, which is really good. Oh, he goes for the, uh, oh, he doesn't get the shorten? Uh, doesn't get the Sakurai combo. He, that was a good, that was a good tech roll away. Oh, wow, the wake up. He accidentally rolls, though, after. Wow, long neutral air and easy edge guard and forward smash, and we're 1-1. One, one. If JJ wins this next game, he'll be in a really good position, uh, though, Actually, JJ doesn't really like Fountain, even though Fountain um, is usually counterpicked against Falcon a lot. Uh, it's possible that we might see a stadium pick, which is generally pretty good for Falcon, too. Falcon's like the, the platform heights, and the lack of a top platform is just fine for them. Uh, no gentlemen's. I think that's one of uh, Dylan's weaknesses. Um, if he, if he actually could learn to gentleman more consistently, he would open up a lot more uh, approach options since he really likes to do lo uh, long, long, hard knees on, on shield. Uh, being able to gentleman act to follow that up is a really strong mix up that most uh, decent Falcons do. But the rest of this game is so is so solid that uh, it's need to. Because I also can't do gentlemen super consistently. Um, so you kind of play you play your play style around not doing gentlemen's generally. And the people that don't know that you can gentlemen, uh, they give you a little bit more respect with your with your jabs, which is nice. Uh, Dylan taking a commanding lead right now. He's got a little bit of percentage to play with on Dreamland. Oh, he goes for that reverse down air. Just out of range. Jab, wake up, knew he's going to roll. Goes deep. Oh, it doesn't get the uh, follow. He could have actually just grabbed him out of the sky there, and that would have been... That would have set the tone for the rest of the set if he got the Silent Spectre edge guard. Oh, he goes for the delayed stomp, double stomp. He could have need there, but he decides to extend the combo. Oh, he goes a little bit too low to avoid the shine. Drops it. JJ just has to look for cheese. There it is. This doesn't get it, but he got a lot of percentage from it. Just pushing him off stage. Oh, he trades with the back air. Oh, wow, <laughs> he ledge cancels him. Yeah, JJ falls for it and gets it. Oh, he had a shine op there. Uh, didn't take it. Thought he was just gonna land to the stage. Or land to the ledge. Ooh. Dylan starting to feel himself now. Is that to turn it up? Is he gonna go deep? Uh, <laughs> it concedes. <laughs> yeah, I got caught with some bad DI on the up air. Probably wasn't gonna make it back, and Dylan was gonna make sure he wasn't gonna make it back. You know, an edge guard that I've seen recently from none, but still not seeing other Falcons do as much, is that long neutral air edge guard. The Foxes I like to up B from really far away. I um, wonder if uh, we're going to see that at all. But I, I really doubt it. Most of the time you just want to just put yourself in position to this up air. But that, uh, that long second hit neutral air hits in just the right way to make it really hard for Fox to come back to. So it doesn't hit as high as up air does. Oh, wow, nice pivot knee. Catch up, caught him slipping. Oh, fa JJ accidentally does a turnaround forward air. Helicopter crashes to his doom. Missed L cancel in the back there, but L spaced. Don't throw up there, not enough to kill Falcon. Hardest character to kill in the game off the top with an attack. Third hardest to kill off of throws. Ooh, gets called out. Oh, he should have done another 4B. Extend that combo. So JJ with some percent now, going to this game four. But if he plays anywhere like he started at the beginning of the set, he can bring it back and make a explosive comeback. Trying to turn off the jets, but got a little tied. Back throw, nice. 
Backdoor is an interesting setup at low percent. I kind of like it. Uh, just kind of, it seems to force tech too, which is always really good against fast fallers, getting people on the ground. Uh, but uh, JJ concedes, and so here we go. Grand finals.